Hello, everybody, and welcome to Everything You Need to Know About Oxygen Devices. This is a real fast video, so hang on with us. And we are going to go over how to really, really choose the correct device for each patient. And really what you want to know how to do is ace that test, right? So that's what we're going to go over. This is brought to you by Exam Facts, and my name is Melissa. Let's move right along. All right. Goldilocks and the three bears. What does that have to do with oxygen devices? Uh, everything. Let me tell you why. When we're choosing an oxygen device for your test and the TMC, you want to choose the just right device. So remember how we had things were too um, hot, too cold, too whatever. Here, we're going to try to tell you, teach you how to get everything just right. And the way I want you to think about this is, am I giving a small, medium, or ginormous amount of oxygen? Okay, so that's what you want to keep in your mind when you're making those decisions. Let's go a little deeper into how to make those decisions, shall we? All right, so how much do we need? Well, if you need a small amount, and this is all low flow devices, part two is about the high flow. So the high flow is a totally different rules. We are talking about low flow devices today. So small amount, why would we only need a small amount? Well, maybe we only have a short distance to go. What do I mean by distance? I mean, are our SATs 91 and we're trying to get them to 93? Is our PaO2 just slightly below our goal? That's what I mean by short distance. We're not that dire, right? So the situation is not that bad. They have lung disease of some sort, but nothing crazy, okay? Or the last reason we might want to just give a small amount is because we are worried about giving too much. Say it with me, guys. Who are we worried about giving too much to? You know the answer. That whole hypoxic drive thing, yes. We are worried about giving too much to our COPD patients. So we might just need a smidge or a small amount of oxygen. So that's what we're doing here. We are given a small amount of oxygen. And what do we use all of the time? Unless we need a high flow, and I'm gonna talk about that in the next video. But all of the time, it's a nasal cannula. Nasal cannula wins on our small amount. So when you're answering those test questions, especially the TMC questions, give them a nasal cannula if they just need a smidge of oxygen, okay? One to three liters is generally our rule. All right, now on the other end, large amount needed. Why do we need a large amount? Well, things are not going well, are they? This is kind of a dire situation. There is an emergency or our PaO2 is 37 on an otherwise norm normally healthy young person. We are in trouble. We are having some sort of emergency situation. Then we reach for our one, our only non-rebreather. He is the hero. He will fix this. It, even if it's going to be a situation where we're going to need a high flow device, throw the non rebreather on while we're getting the high flow device ready, right? Those things don't set themselves up in two seconds. They just don't. So our hero is the non rebreather. Anytime situations dire or our saturations are in the 70s or 80s and we have a long way to go to get to our goal, we're going to reach for our large, big gun. So nasal cannula, if we just have a little bit to go, and non-rebreather. I know you were taught about lots and lots of devices. I have a secret for you. Most of them are nonsense. We're not going to choose them. All right? We do not want to choose all of the middle stuff most of the time. There is occasionally a need to choose a simple mask, and that is going to be when your nasal cannula patient is a mouth breather. They just won't close their mouth. Or, you know, if that's all you have there. But that's really the only reason you would want something smack in the middle. And never, ever, ever choose the partial rebreather. That is like choosing to listen to Justin Bieber on your Spotify. Just don't do it. It's just not a good idea. No one likes him. No one likes the partial rebreather. It's just not a thing. Never use it. Never choose it. It's just not a thing. Just 
just say no, guys. Yeah, you may have to pl change your playlist if this is you. Sorry. All right, that is it. So literally all you have to do is choose nasal cannula if you just have a little way to go, non-rebreather if you have a, a long way to go, simple mask only on the case, they're, they're opening their mouth, something like that, and ignore all those other ridiculous oxygen delivery devices your teacher may have told you about. Now, we're going to talk about high flow devices in the next video. So that'll be a little different. But this is all the low flow devices. Now, we're not going to talk about what meets a low flow device until we get to the next video. All right, that is all folks. Thank you so much for joining us for this real quick video. Have a great day. Happy studying.